Sometimes you just need to listen to some Nicki Minaj, you know. Hello. Hi. I'm back. My name is Kalia. I am 22 years old. 22. Um, I live in Seattle, Washington. Today is March 29th. It's my mom's birthday. I did not need to look at the calendar. Yeah. Hi. I am <laughs> back to my full energy self. I took a dip like mid quarantine for the last couple of days and I was really low and really tired and had no energy and um, sometimes you just need to shower, do your makeup and listen to Nicki Minaj. I mean, I'm fixed. Cure. In all seriousness, I'm sure a lot of people are having a really hard time with quarantine and being able to keep their spirits up and that's okay. You know, as long as you get through it, you know, then I think you're in pretty good shape. But um, I'm finally on the uptick. Uh, my dad is too. He's been feeling good since the 26th and he can come out tomorrow. We called uh, the CDC hotline in Seattle and they said that by April 1st my household will have been should be coronavirus clear <laughs> yeah I'm excited I mean this is great <sighs> we needed some good news we needed some good things happening and I guess nothing's really happening it's really just things are starting to go back to normal, at least in our household. I'm sure we'll be on lockdown still for a couple weeks yet, but I feel good. It's my mom's birthday. I've made her a cake. I've been baking a lot of things. Um, I have some uploads coming up that are going to actually be exciting, actually make you excited to try something new. So I'm excited for anyone who watches. I'm excited for myself just to put stuff out there that I'm excited about. And yeah, I think I'm ready to keep on going, keep on grooving, keep on moving and grooving. Did I just say that? I don't know. Anyway, I got a new camera. Well, I mean, I had this camera, but I lent it to my boyfriend for a bit and I have it back now. So I'm not shooting with my GoPro anymore. So the quality is a little better. You can probably see each individual pore. So. <laughs> Anyway, that's fine. Just up close and personal. Um, but I hope that it just makes it a little easier for my content to be seen as I see it. You know? Wait. What's this video for? Um, today I'm releasing a video on caramelized onions. Sorry. Super, super simple. Super lame. But hella delicious, right? If I see anything with the caramelized onions on the menu, sign me up. I don't think I'd ever actually caramelize onions by myself. Don't know why. I think it's largely they just take a long time, but boy is it worth it. And I mean, I got 24 hours, seven days a week kind of time. So I've caramelized onions like three times so far this week. So just something to consider for your own life. It's a really simple recipe. It's from Bon Appetit, the king and queen of the food industry uh well food creating content industry you know what i mean they are very reputable love their recipes and they're delicious i stopped mine at a pretty blonde moment so if you want them like super dark and super flavor packed go ahead and cook them for longer whatever you want oh hello oh my god it's matt i'm glad that your dad's feeling better anyway let's get to the video ready City. For this recipe, you're going to use two large yellow onions and cut them in half from root to tip.
go ahead and remove the papery parts and any of the extra outer tough skin of the onion. Now you can go ahead and compost those, but my family likes to save them for soup stock. Really, really good for soup stock, so keep those bits. And once you're done obsessively cleaning your cutting board, you can go ahead and start doing some other non-essential tasks, as in cutting off the tips of your onions. Not necessary, but I like to do it. And then cutting off the ugly root bit of the onion. Again, not necessary, as you'll see in the next step. Now to each onion half, you're going to make a V-shaped incision at the root tip to remove that. It just helps the onions break apart easier in the pan. Now with the onion with the root facing you, go ahead and cut slices about a quarter inch to one eighth of an inch thick, running lengthwise down the onion. Rinse and repeat for the rest of your onion halves and um, try to use better knife cutting skills than I. Trust me, I try every single time to improve my knife skills and I always go back to this childish terrible way of cutting. I apologize. And of course, once you've finished cutting your onions, move them to the center of your cutting board for a quick instant pick. Meanwhile, place a high walled skillet over medium heat. And if you're using cast iron like I am, you can do medium low. Throw two tablespoons of butter on there. Let that get all melty and toasty and frothy and any other adjective, oh my god, adjective you can think of. And once your butter is all melted, you can go and put one handful of onions into the skillet. You don't want to put all of the onions in at once because that will create steam and the onions will not caramelize. After throwing each handful of onions in, give a stir to move them around and distribute heat. Let them get softened and a little translucent before adding your next handful of onion. And then stirring and completing until you've finished all of your onions. All of our onions have been added to the pan and now it is time to sprinkle with a pinch of salt. The salt breaks through the cell walls of the onion allowing more water to come out which allows the steam to dissipate and then the onions can begin caramelizing. Now it's just stir, stir, stir. Every two to three minutes return to your pan and give the onions a proper stir to make sure that no parts are sticking or burning more so than the rest of the onions. You want to really even cook throughout this entire process.
and after about 20 minutes, your onion should look like this. Your kitchen should smell like the county fair and they should be soft and sweet. You can go ahead and pull them now. They're perfectly fine, but if you'd like to get them darker and a little bit richer in flavor, now's a good time to add a splash of broth or even water and um, that will help deglaze the pan and break up any bits that are beginning to stick. Word of caution to anyone who is going to take their onions further. Since we're caramelizing, there's a lot of sugars in the pan, so you'll want to stir a little bit more frequently than you have been to keep those from catching and burning. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my onions now. I'm gonna use them on an Italian bread that is cooked in the oven so they will continue to get brown in the oven. But um, if you'd like to take them any further, please be my guest and as always, enjoy.